In this video, we're going to learn how to extend hair or make hair longer in Photoshop. So today I'm going to share with you two ways to do exactly the same. Now one of the ways will actually make you go, wow, I didn't know anything about that. But here's the thing, the wow way might not work with all of your images, but when it works, it works like a charm. It's always good to know that. Now here's the key. The second way will almost always work with each and every one of your images, except for some cases. It sticks to the basics and you can always rely on the basics. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in the funny world of Photoshop. Do you want to see a two frame animation? Da -da -da. There you go. And today we're going to work on this lady called Kasia. She has sent me the image and she wanted her hair to be extended. Now I wonder what you're thinking. You're thinking she already has a long hair, but of course we can get another Rapunzel. But there you go. Let's go. Let's start afresh. No, so we, we're starting with this image now. Do you want to see another animation? Let me show you one another animation. Da -da -da. Now what is this hand for? This hand was actually, she was pressing the shutter release remote and we had to remove it. Okay, there you go. So we are going to extend here using the first wow method. Now for this, we're going to use the content aware move tool. Have you heard of that tool? Nope. So this is the content aware move tool. If you cannot see it, it's in the group of spot healing brush and healing brush. Okay. If you cannot see it, right click on this and you can go to content aware move tool. This tool works similar to content aware fill, but there's a difference. We'll see that. Okay. So select the content aware move tool and always create a new layer. Make a copy of the layer which you're working with because you can always use masks with it. Okay. So controller command J. So this is the original image. We can throw it off with the hand on the shutter button. Okay. So this is the copy and this is what we are working on. Now find out a place where the hairs are straight. Okay so that we can extend from that area. Now, what do I mean by that? Let me give you a really, really simplistic example. Okay, let's create a new layer. Let me show you an example. Suppose the hair was something like this. Suppose one single hair is something like this. So which point would you pick? Let's change the color. Which point would you pick to make the selection? This is a straight point. This is a straight line here. This is a straight line here. This is a, no, there are no more straight lines. So it's always great to cut from a straight line, to extend from a straight line. Now here's the thing. Where should you extend it from? From here, here, or here? I want you to guess which point? A, B, or C? I'll give you five seconds. Guess. It is A. You know why? Because once you cut from A, you again have a straight line and this. So you have the benefit of attaching it right here. So you get a straight attached line there. If you had cut from here, you wouldn't have got so much of a leeway in making an extension. So that's the key. All right, let's go ahead and delete that. Now, content aware move to, let's select this area. There you go. And always try to select a little extra than what you have to. Okay, because we're always going to create a mask. Now, once you make a selection, make sure extend is selected, not the move extend. Okay. And then just simply extend that. There you go. Now once don't go too far. Now, once you extend that, okay, try to line it up. Try to line it up with this. Try to line it up with this. Okay. Try to just line it up and the computer will do the rest. Now, once you think it's lined up pretty well, what you can do, you can press enter. Let's see what happens. Okay. Here, it's not lined up well enough. There you go. That's pretty good. And press enter. Now it will make the matching automatically. Watch. It's just currently watch. Watch how beautifully it has done it. Controller command D. Now, of course, there are ways that there are things that we need to clear up. For example, watch, have a look here. So there are things that we need to clear up and this can be cleared up very easily. Watch this thing. This can be cleared also with a mask. So what we can do, we can create a mask and take the brush and make sure it's black, the foreground color. If it's not, you can press D to always reset this thing and then press X to toggle between black on black and white. And if it's already black and white, press X to toggle between both that both of those colors. Okay. So select the black and try painting in this area. There you go. Oh, white is selected. Press X. 
There you go. Maybe you want to decrease the flow to something like 30 or 40 and you might start working on this one. There you go. Right? So that's one of the ways you can always go ahead and increase it. So you might have to erase it here a little bit to make it a little more smoother. Okay? So, so that's one of the ways. Okay? So that's not quite perfect and you cannot really retouch it because if you wanted to change exactly just this part of the hair that you extended, you cannot do this with this one. But this makes excellent connections and that's kind of the trade-off that you have to deal with. Of course, when you are extending, let me show you something. When you are extending something, let me throw it off again and let me select it again. When you are extending something like this, you can always do one more thing. You can rotate that. Watch. And now you can press enter to make a connection. Okay. Now let me give you a one more tip with this method. If you're using this method, this method sometimes works. Don't neglect this method. This is also great. Now once it has made the connection, look, it has made a fairly nice connection. Look here. You might have to do a little bit of adjustment, but that's just a little bit of adjustment. Now if you're not satisfied with this, Number one, you can always use mask. Number two, one more excellent feature this has. Let me show you what it is. So when you extend it, let me show you, and when you rotate that or whatever you do, and press enter, there's an option, don't miss it. Only for that kind of time before you deselect, you get an option. And what is that option? These are the options, structure and color. Okay, you can, if it's not matching, you can always change the values of structure and color to see which values are matching. For example, now the value is one. It will take some time to analyze that and watch. It has matched dramatically. This is huge, amazing, isn't it? So there you go. It's totally matching. Pretty awesome, pretty amazing. So this is the before, this is the after. Amazing, isn't it? So let's move on to the next method. This was the wow method that I was talking about. This looks so good, but it sometimes works excellently as now it worked, but it sometimes doesn't. So make sure, try with your images. It's just one single step, very simple. Let's move on to the second method, which almost every time works and which you can manually adjust, okay? So the second method might seem very simple. Let's make a copy of the background layer and let's do it in the second layer, okay? So it's a good way to look at the before and after that way. All right. So this time select a selection tool. The lasso tool will do and we'll do the same thing. It's based on the same principle. But the difference is we are going to make the extension manually. Okay. Always select more than what you have to. For example, you're making a selection like this. You have to extend that one. Don't select this. This is wrong. Select something like this. So you always have space to remove extra areas and you always have space to smoothen the masks, okay? So select something extra here. Okay, to select extra, press and hold shift. This changes your lasso tool to a plus lasso tool and you can select in some extra areas. There you go. Don't worry about the extra areas. You can always go ahead and erase it. Okay, now once you're ready, press controller command J. Now this creates a separate layer for just this area and if you want to see solo layers all you have to do you have to press alter option and click on that eye icon that layer goes solo which means every layer turns off okay press and hold alter option and click on that again every layer turns on so that's kind of the good way pro tip there all right controller command t and now let's try extending it we are doing it we are doing everything manually now okay once you have lined up stuff you have to rotate this like that. And one of the biggest benefits of this is that you can use warp with it. You can always go ahead, right click on it and go to warp. Now you can manually line it up by stretching. You line it up there, you line it up here, maybe something like that. All right, that looks pretty nice. And you can not only rotate it, but also you can shape it the way you want, okay? So one of the good ways to line up stuff is to use the blend mode called difference. So when you change to blend mode difference, you see where the hair is lining up and how much of an extension we have made. For example, this is the length of the original hair and this is the extension we have made. I know it's kind of difficult to work with difference, but it gives you a nice insights into how you are lining up hairs, watch. So helps you line up hairs properly 
and how much of an extension it has made so it gives you that so you can always get back to free transform and you can extend it even more there you go and watch how much of an extension you have made and then, then you can right click and always go to warp back again and you can line up the hairs all right so this also helps you shape the hair the way it has to be shaped okay so it has to be something like that okay so that sounds pretty good looks pretty good not sounds that's a whole different sensory organ but that's a different story all right let's change back the blend mode to normal and let's see how it pretty much lines up now we might have to make a little bit corrections right here and there and that's that looks pretty good all right now once you're satisfied with this hit enter now we might have to line it up here here just a little bit hit enter now again masks right so click on this mask button and take the brush make sure the foreground color is black decrease the flow to somewhere around 20 or something so that you can have more smoother edges and start erasing on the edges okay I know some of you like to use feather beforehand but it's always good to apply feather later because it's non-destructive if you have erased something extra you can always get it back how by using the white brush press X and paint it back if you have erased something extra okay so there you go it's pretty nice and we might have to clear this junk up right here and that's awesome all right let's look at the before and after so this is the before this is the after we might have to use warp just a little bit right click on it and go to warp we might have to just use warp just a little bit here maybe here now oh, that looks pretty good hit enter now we might have to use a little bit of uh, eraser here now that's kind of matching that's pretty good awesome now let's go ahead and extend it even more what about making it totally extending to the ground just like Rapunzel all right let's do that now here's the key and here's the fun part once you have made this extension you're pretty much done make a copy of it and just extend it there you go <laughs> I know this sounds lame but this works control T just make the necessary adjustments okay and then go to right click on it go to warp and do what you have to do maybe from the bottom something like that maybe you want to keep it straight maybe something like this I know I'm going crazy with this but you get the idea right okay now this looks pretty good and once you are satisfied with your this thing you have to hit enter now here too you can always go ahead and go to the mask select the mask brush black is the foreground color and erase certain areas to give it a more realish kind of look okay there you go watch there we have extended this hair and you can always repeat that with this hair also okay so I think this hair has to go a little bit more inside straight yep now that looks pretty good also you can have one more extension you can just make a copy of this one and you can extend it even downwards there you go totally Rapunzel all right so now we have to work with other side of the hair and this can be tricky you know why because there's a hard edge there her hand is sticking out so uh, before we do that let's make a group of all of these these three stuff and control G and then let's create a mask and this is the extra area that's glowing out so let's take the brush and with a black black color in the foreground let's erase the extra areas okay so there you go all right now let's work with this one now when you're working with something like this with a hard edge you might consider making a selection all right so let's first extend the layer and then create the selection and delete from that okay so to extend the hair we'll do the same thing and still don't worry about the shape we can always control the shape in liquify all right so here we have something straight so we'll take this lasso tool and we'll make a selection something like this always select more than you have to you can always rub it all right control a command J and let's just extend it the way we want something like that line it up pretty well 
you know what to do. Take the brush, make sure black is the foreground color. By accident, I selected green. I don't know how it happened. Press D, then press X. But you don't want white, right? Black is fine. All right, let's make the brush a little bigger. And then we create a mask. And with the flow 20, let's try painting it over the edges. There you go. Now this is smooth. Let's create a copy of this one. Now let's copy that copy into another one. Now we might have to extend this warp this a little bit. Right click on it, warp, something like this. All right, now this is pretty good. Okay, now whenever we are dealing with something like hard edge, it's always good to turn on and off the layer to see where the edge is, okay? Now let me show you something. When you make a group of these two and turn off, we can see that we have an extra area that we need to cover, all right? If we turn the blend mode to something like difference, you'll see that this is the thing that we are missing out. We would need extra hair here, okay? So let's change back to normal and we would need just a piece of hair. Let's make a copy of this one. You would need just a piece of hair right here, something like that, okay? And let's line it up here and let's take the mask, select the mask, take the brush, black is the foreground color, and let's do something like that. Now, let's turn off all of this and select the group. Don't turn on the group right now. Select the quick selection tool and select this hard edge. Okay, now while you're doing this, make sure sample all layers is checked. Now once the hard edge is selected, all you have to do, turn on the group, now see that we have created the extra hair, we have something to fill it off with. Now click on this mask button. Now this does completely opposite of what we want. So control a command I. There you go. Now you have it. Now you might have to do a little bit of adjustments here. Control T and you might have to warp it up a little bit maybe. And you get the idea on what to do, right? So that's how we extend hair in Photoshop. Now, once you have extended hair, it's always essential to shape it up right, okay? So create a new layer with everything merged, okay? So create a new layer and press Control, Alt, Shift, and E. If you're using a Mac, it's Command, Option, Shift, and E, okay? Alt, Control, Shift, E. Now, once you press that, a new layer will be created with everything merged and flattened, okay? All right, now let's go to Filter. Liquify. Now once you're in the liquify, we might have to do certain adjustments before we shape the hair. Now while you're shaping the hair, you don't want to affect the face, you don't want to affect her body. So you might have to select the freeze mask tool or press F, that's the shortcut for that, and paint over the areas that you don't want to affect, okay? Paint a little extra. Always paint just a little extra. Now once you have done that, you can easily shape the hair using the forward warp tool you can always press W for that, something like this. Now once you have done that, click OK. There you go. Now that you have shaped it, and that's pretty much it. So today we learned two ways to extend hair in Photoshop. What was the first method? Content Aware Move Tool. When to use it? It's always worth a try. Also, don't forget to change the values of structure and color if you're not satisfied with that of the lining up. All right. Also, it has its own drawbacks. What are its drawbacks? You cannot shape it while you're extending it, unlike the second method where we could use warp. Also, you can use Liquify with both the methods later to shape the hair, but you have an added advantage to the second method that you can select parts of the hair, extra parts of the hair, and place it on, fill it up, and all that kind of stuff. Why? Because that's manual. Now here's the key. You can always use both the methods together. Okay, to fill up the spaces, you can use the second method. To extend the hair, you can use the first method. That's something you have to try. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, click on that bell button so that you don't miss any future tips, tricks and tutorials. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.